The back squat. Back squat is a fundamental movement. Here's how it starts. Matt's going to dip under the bar. You guys, if you have a squat rack in your local gym, make sure that you're facing the squat rack so that when you get done with your reps, you can walk towards the squat rack rather than back into the squat rack. So just a little side note there. All right, so Matt's going to pinch his shoulder blades together, creating this shelf up here, okay, for him to set the bar on. All right, his hands are closed, his, his shoulder blades are pinched together, creating this shelf. He's going to take the bar off the, off the rack here. He's going to get into position, which means he's going to have a big chest, all right? He's going to have tight hips, his feet. You guys, you can have uh, feet right underneath your hips, a little wider. You can angle your feet. You're going to find that everybody's going to be just a slightly different. The only thing that isn't going to vary is what you're going to do with your knees and where you're going to have your weight when you're going down and up with this weight. All right, so Matt's going to initiate the down movement with his hips and his knees. He's going to, like he's shutting the car door, he's going to pop his hips back and start down towards the floor, flaring his knees out nice and straight, push pushes through the floor and ends up in the starting position. Now, when he goes down, he's going to make sure he flares his knees. Go ahead and do it again, Matt. And he's got a nice straight, straight torso. The bar is staying right over his heels, all right? So in the back squat, you're gonna have, you're gonna bend over slightly, but you're still gonna have your chest up. I think of it this way. If you have a mirror in front of you, at the bottom of your squat, you should be able to read the printing on the front of your shirt. So give him a couple quick ones, Matt. Down, up, pushing his heels through the floor, pushing his hips forward, and that is the back squat.